Are you wondering if you actually have wireless charging on the new Samsung Galaxy S25? So yep, I have some great news. On the back of the phone, right over here, we actually get wireless charging coils. Uh, so, and this phone actually has the newest G2 wireless charging support. So previously the S24 actually only um, yeah, had the old standard. Basically when it comes to charging speeds, we get 15 watts of wireless charging. And also, yep, we also have reverse wireless charging. So I will show you that a bit later. So essentially you can charge other watches or uh, phones with that reverse wireless charging. So, and if you want to charge your phone, simply all we have to do is <laughs> simply pop it on. So on the charger, uh, like this, and it should start to charge pretty much instantly as you see start to charge by the way again uh, when you purchase these uh, like wireless chargers again pay attention to the output voltage because some cheap ones maybe only have like 10 watts of power so they won't be able to charge at the full speed uh, by the way if you are wondering if it's actually like healthy for the phone's battery to actually use these wireless chargers then uh, nope i do not have good news so uh, this uh, basically the wireless chargers, especially very cheap ones, actually heat up the phone as it charges it, so to transfer that energy. So there is a lot of heat loss and like energy loss as well. So you're kind of wasting a lot of energy. So and basically the charger heats up the phone when it charges, and obviously that isn't very good for the battery longevity. So again. Uh, I would use wireless charging maybe in a car, so where it's like very convenient. By the way, if you can't get your wireless charger to actually charge this phone, then uh, again, we simply have to place it around here. So uh, on this phone, as you see, this probably would be the correct position how we can actually charge this phone. So naturally, maybe you want to put it like this, so it's flush completely with the phone but really there is a camera in your way so and if you put it like this uh, it actually won't start to charge unless you maybe have very small uh, charger pack basically so but again on this one you see it actually creates a small gap so again it's not the most efficient charging solution again overall and again it will heat up uh, basically the phone so yeah it is what it is maybe again get a smaller charger basically that i think is better then also again we can do reverse wireless charging as well so um, if we go in the settings in the battery uh, wireless power sharing over here and turn this on so we actually have to turn this on every single time we actually want to charge uh, another device so and then if we put our watch for example on uh, as you see it actually start to charge and again we can charge other phones as well with this method again it's not like super fast but again in emergency especially for watches i think this is very useful uh, by the way uh, for the samsung galaxy watch 7 we ca can't charge that watch with this phone because uh, like uh, charging coils on the galaxy watch 7 uh, are kind of terrible this year so uh, but uh, galaxy watch 6 5 4 and 4 you can easily charge on this phone and you won't really have any problems but again for galaxy watch 7 we can't do that as there is problem with the galaxy watch 7 design basically when it comes to wireless charging anyway good luck